Guys, Sharpness Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review on the Marvel Select Apocalypse. Yeah, it's taking me a little while, but finally we are reviewing Apocalypse over here. Looking pretty sweet so far. A lot of hype around this figure ever since it was showcased over at Comic-Con last year. I think it was Comic-Con. Nice looking image of Apocalypse right there on the side. And then on the back, you can see Apocalypse and Apocalypse again. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Nothing on the side, top or bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your marvel select figures you can do so at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below and here's apocalypse out of the packaging whoa oh, this thing is a beast wow uh, is this the best apocalypse figure ever quite possibly might be i don't know uh there may be some that say yes uh, we shall see if i say yes or not anyway there are quite a bit of accessories to look at with this apocalypse so let's go ahead and take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at apocalypse so perhaps interchangeable heads or perhaps a hand cannon but aside from those accessories i think this is actually quite perfect i am really happy to see these over here you get fisted hands you get relaxed hands you get the interchangeable forearms right over here and then you get this giant drill which looks great but unfortunately after taking it right out of the box my thumb had rubbed against one of these little spokes sticking out over here. I don't know what else to call it. And I snapped one of them off. You can see it's missing right over there. I looked for it on the floor. I was not able to find it. So that does bum me out. Uh, this does not rotate over here, but I think it looks fantastic. I love the metallic blue that you can see on it. That looks really cool, man. Really love the silver paint apps on this as well. It looks great. And you could go ahead and uh, plug in his back tube right into that, as well as with these forearms right over here. Very easy to do. We'll see that more later on. Uh, you have this mace right over here that does have a hinge for articulation, which I really like. And these are interchangeable for either hand. So that's awesome. And again, uh, not as metallic as this right here with the blue, but still pretty metallic so i like that and then we have this clamp accessory which is great i like how it has a needle right here on the inside of it you can see all these bolts and screws right over here for the hinges i think that looks awesome i love this accessory looks really cool i wish it could actually function but i'm still really happy with it i dig this <laughs> So unfortunately, my least favorite part of this figure is the head sculpt. And I don't really have a problem with the sculpt of it itself that much. I think the mouth is a little extra big, but it is Apocalypse. And I do like the paint apps. The head size itself is just way too big. And I did find myself having a little bit more fun with this figure using the retro card Apocalypse figure from Marvel Legends. As you can see right here, this head sculpt or either of these head sculpts fit just much better. So I wish this one right here was only a little bit smaller. It's easier to articulate when you have a smaller head in there too. It doesn't run into the collar. I do like the silver bits right over here. Missed the line work a little bit right over there, but yeah, I really wish the head was smaller. And again, the metallic blue on this figure looks fantastic. The rest of it I think is absolutely amazing. I really love the gunmetal gray that we're seeing right over there. And we have at least three different shades of blue. We have the very dark blue right here. We have the mid-tone blue. We have the metallic blues. So yeah, lots of blues going on. Yep, lot, gotta love the blues, right? Love the metallics right here. Silver looks great. You have the big old A right there for ass. No, I mean, it's for Apocalypse. Sorry, just had to say it. But yeah, uh, you can see we have sculpted seams right over here. And then on the back, you can see the tubes. And I wish these had bendy wires in them. You know, that's another gripe of mine. I am able to pose it around enough without it detaching but a lot of the times they do detach and then i'm able to just put it back on and then it'll stay for the most part but bendy wires in here would have been really nice i do like the metallic silver though that does look good there's the metallic blue butt on apocalypse and then you can see some of the inner thigh working right over there with the silver paint apps nice line work i do like that a little bit of black paint in there 
looks like it has some black paint in there. Same thing with the forearms. Yeah, so that's cool. I love that they add some depth with the paint applications. A little bit of shadowing on the blue. So that's really good too. I love the paint apps on this. Just absolutely fantastic. I think this is the best Apocalypse figure. Aside from the head sculpt, I think they hit all the marks, man. I really like it a lot. So the articulation on this figure is quite awesome. It's just, uh, it's frustrating with the head. With the other head sculpts, you do get more range of movement. Uh, the head sculpts that don't come with the figure anyway. But this one, you can turn the head side to side just that much. It won't really look up and it just shifts down a little bit, a little bit of head wobbling. Very restricted. I wish we had a smaller head there. Uh, anyway, shoulders will move outward and I must emphasize you do need to heat up this figure. Yeah, it, it's a very stiff figure. I had to heat mine up before moving it around. So I totally recommend you do that. Even with heating it up, I can get the arms moving outward that much. I wish they could move in more than this. I could see the plastic is hindering that right over there. You could rotate forward. You could rotate all the way around. You get a bicep swivel. You get a single jointed elbow that does not meet the 90 degree mark. Rotates at the elbow uh, due to this porting on and off. You could rotate right there. You could rotate the wrists. They do hinge up and down. And then you do, uh, these just pop off, you know. Uh, you have the diaphragm joint right here and you get some diaphragm pivot and it crunches forward and doesn't move back. And then I thought you, we had a waist cut here. Yes, we do have the waist cut right there. You can see it turning, even though I don't really use it that often. I use that diaphragm joint a lot. Hips move outward very far and then he can kick forward that much and not back, upper thigh cut. Single jointed knee does meet at about the 90 degree mark. Rotates at the knee, no calf rotation, which is fine because the knee is okay. Uh, we do get ankle art articulation side to side. It does move down at the ankle, up at the ankle and you get beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this apocalypse figure, you can see that it is standing at about nine and a half inches tall, very tall figure. And then to compare this Marvel Select Apocalypse next to a variety of Marvel Select X-Men characters. We have Juggernaut, we have Colossus, we have Gambit, and Brown Suit Wolverine. Then here's the Marvel Select Apocalypse and next to some Marvel Legends X-Men figures. We have the retro card Rogue right here, Brown Suit Wolverine, and the two-pack Colossus. Ah, and I also had to compare this Marvel Select and next to a couple more Marvel Legends. We have Archangel over here and we have Mr. Sinister. And then for an Apocalypse comparison, here is the Marvel Select Apocalypse. Next to the two Hasbro Apocalypse figures, we have the Build-A-Figure and then we have the retro card version which I have never reviewed the head sculpts that came with this figure fit perfectly on this one right over here I did not do a head swap with this one I will later so here's a photo you can see that if you want to check it out if I was able to get it on there I'm sure it will fit just fine but out of these three which one is your favorite I I'm curious to know uh, for me I'm gonna say this one and then here's the Marvel Select Apocalypse next to the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Apocalypse and holy crap I think I might like this one more than this giant Build-A-Figure. I mean, I still love this thing, but the proportions look all weird now to me when I see it next to this one right over here. I don't know. Maybe I may use both of them for like a growing effect thing. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I may have them like that on the shelf. Switch the heads around. We'll see. And then here's Apocalypse next to your average section scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Inner Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, you know, instead of making all those weapons and stuff, well, why don't you make something fun, you know? Uh, like a tennis racket. It's kind of a weird looking tennis racket. Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to show some love and hit that like button because I need the love. And I also need the subscribers. So we need to get to 1 million. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to help you get notified when my next video pops up. I have some Guardians figures to review for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And I wanna know what you guys think about this figure over here. I really like it a lot. This is a lot of fun. Uh, the accessories and the aesthetics of it and and the articulation. My only real complaint, my biggest complaint anyway, is the head sculpt. That's the only thing. I just wish it was smaller. I don't even mind the way it looks, you know, even though I still kind of prefer the way the Legends Retro Card figures head sculpts look a little bit more so than this one, but still, it's not a bad looking head sculpt. It's just a little too big. But the paint applications, oh man, they're so sweet on this figure. I love the metallics, the black fading in and out on this figure. Just look Looks fantastic. I love the accessories. Yeah, I do get annoyed by those cables on the back. I wish we had bendy wires for those. That would just make things a whole lot easier or a bit easier. 
doesn't ruin the figure at all for me not as much as the head being a bit too big but man i think this is an incredible piece i i would consider it a must get like you really do need to pick this up for any x-men fan so at the price point of around 35 bucks uh, 35 to 40 bucks maybe depending on where you get it i'm gonna give this apocalypse figure a sun rating oh <laughs> And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. Now I do know this was a free sample from Diamond, but I was going to buy this anyway. And I am very glad to have it, man. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. And if not, I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.